Hi again, this is Jason from xlsxhelp.com and today we're going to go all over some if statements and some ifs statements uh, which is the extension of the sum if using two criteria or more. Uh, we're going to start off with a data set, you might have seen this before, type of food, description, and the cost US dollars per pound, which is completely made up as you can see uh, pineapple is not $10.46 per pound in US dollars. Regardless, we're going to start off by going over a sum if statement. So for our sum if statement, we're going to identify a criteria. Let's call it cheese. And we want to find out in this data set how much in total we're going to be costing up for cheese. So our formula is equals sum if your range, which for this formula is going to be in, row, in column A, cheese. And I like to absolute value the whole entire column with F4. Your criteria, which is cheese, in F5. And I absolute value that to make it draggable. And your sum range is going to be your cost, which is column C. And I absolute value that. And that's pretty simple. You have your range, A, your criteria, F5, and your cost, which is C. When you hit return, you can see that your total cost for cheese is $158.71. Well, let's, uh, let's also find out fruit and meat. And since we made this a draggable formula, we can drag it down and see what our cost is for each. So now that's fine and great. Uh, we know what our cost is. What if we want to know the cost of cheese that's Swiss? Well for that you'll need a sum if statement. Our formula for our sum ifs is equals sum ifs and instead of starting with your criteria you're going to actually start with what range you're going to be adding up. So here it's going to be column C F4 to value it out. Now your first criteria is going to be your type of food, so column A, and then your criteria of cheese in I5. Again, let's make this draggable, so F4. And in a later tutorial, I'll teach you about the different types of absolute values. Uh, but for now, when the dollar sign is ahead of the I5, that means it could be dragged down, not across. Now we're going to pick our second criteria, which is the description. And let's absolute value that. And then we're going to choose J5, which is Swiss. And we're going to make that draggable down. And once we hit return, we can see that the total cost for Swiss cheese is $80.64. And we can continue this down. Let's say we want to choose fruit and orange. We should be able to drag this down and see what the total cost of oranges are. And you can see it's $80.79. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, please go to xlsxhelp.com. Go to the tut tutorials and uh, post your comments and questions. Thanks for tuning in.